and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and today we are at the Woodbridge Community Center for the annual kickoff of our Have a Heart Food Drive. Uh, before we begin, let me ask Father uh, William Smith of St. Anthony de Padua Church if he'll say a few words and lead us with an invocation. Thank you, Mayor. As we begin 2018, we have been wishing each other a happy and healthy new year. We turn to God in prayer as we begin 2018 to have a heart kickoff. Let us pray. Almighty God, we gather in concern for those who are less fortunate than ourselves. At this moment, we pray for those who are homeless or without adequate heat during these very cold temperatures and conditions for their health and safety. As we gather to address the needs of those who are hungry, we gather to address the needs of those who are hungry and the health issues concerned with hunger. May the township businesses, houses of worship, civic, education, community groups, and citizens help in caring for the hungry by participating in the Have a Heart Food Drive Challenge 2018. May our past efforts be reached and surpassed until every citizen in our community doesn't need to be concerned about being hungry we act this in your holy name, amen. Amen, thank you, Father. <clears throat> so this is a drive that started way back in 1995. Um, it's done in January and February when, frankly, people kind of forget the need for food because you concentrate on Thanksgiving and the holidays in December and you pay a lot of attention to it then and everybody has their dinners and all kinds of efforts. But then uh, once New Year's rolls around, uh, the effort kind of dies down, so we've started this, not we, but uh, but uh, the township started it way back in 1995, so this is the 23rd year that we're doing it. Um, the one guy that's been a constant since 1995 that's been here for every single one of them, whose idea probably was uh, way back then, is Peter Barcelona, who was the uh, head of our food pantry efforts. We're now up to 13 different um, food pantries. Uh, we had 11, now we have 13. That's good and bad. It's good that we have the people that want to help, and it's good they have the people that put the effort out. It's just bad that we continue to have the demand. Um, but it's it's working uh, for us, and there's so many people that otherwise would go to bed hungry and members that don't. And the guy mostly responsible for that with the effort he puts in is Peter Barcelona. So I'd like to ask now if Peter will say a few words. There he is right behind me. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just on behalf of the Mayor, um, the mayor is behind us 100%, and WeFi would not be what it is today if it wasn't for Mayor McCormick and the town council, the town administration, who actually uh, gives a face to WeFeed. WeFeed is 11 food pantries and two soup kitchens in Woodbridge. Uh, we feed approximately 600 families per month. Um, the Drive 2014 Challenge, we're just challenging any of the business communities or civic organizations or just an average citizen uh, to donate either $214 or 214 pounds of food. Uh, they can contact me at the health center and I'd be happy to uh, facilitate getting that food picked up and uh, brought to the health center where it's picked up and uh, brought to our 11 food pantries. I mean, the need is great. As Father said, um, we're in a very cold time of the year. Um, so the need to help those in need uh, is ideal that we need help right now. So any help you could give us, we greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> Thank you, Peter. Where I know there's a there's baskets here at the community center. There's baskets in town hall, health center, health center in Woodbridge. Uh, Where senior, else? Senior centers. All the senior centers, which means Evergreen, Sycamore, Sycamore, and yes. soon two more. But we get to that. You know, the, they'll be open for next year. Yes. Where else can people bring the food? Can we get the health center? Just call, call me at the health center. We can arrange that. Or you can call me, you can pick it up. So what's, let me uh, give me your number so I can give it to you. 732-855-0600. 0600. Extension 5034. Extension 5034. That's Peter's direct extension at the health center. Uh, so if you do want to donate and can't have too much to carry or just want to get help, uh, you can call Peter and he'll arrange for someone or probably himself to go and pick it up. So we have a lot of people here tonight that are, today that are part of this effort. Uh, I just want to tell you that last year we collected 26,500 pounds of food, that's 13 tons of food, and $32,300. So that's a mighty high level to um, try to eclipse this year, but we're going to try our best to do that, and we have a great team of people uh, involved. Now let me start by introducing, we have two council people here, uh, First Ward Councilwoman Nancy Drum and Fifth Ward Councilwoman Debbie Meehan. Uh, Debbie is involved with the Colonia Business uh, community, the CBC, which does an awful lot of great things in Colonia. They have a whole great group of businesses up and around Inman Avenue. 
uh, and Lake Avenue that do great things for the, that part of town, but in this case, they do it for the entirety of Woodbridge Township by getting involved in the food drive. They have the Taste of Colonia, which raises money and food for the food drive, and I'll, I'll be quiet now and let Debbie say the rest of it before I take her entire talk. <laughs> She's looking at me, she's probably saying, all right, shut up. Uh, let, <coughs> Councilwoman Debbie Meehan. Uh, first, I just want to uh, introduce a couple people that are here from the CBC. Marianne from Vern Fowler, Emma from Advanced Family uh, Practice, and Alan from Edward Jones. Um, our group, at the CBC, is a really active group. We've been together for how many years now? Uh, at least six. Six years. Six to seven. And we do a lot of things in the community. And one of our greatest events is our Taste of Colony. And what it is, it's, it's a tasting of a bunch of different restaurants within the area. And we raise money and we ask people to bring a, um, a piece of food, a can of food, something to help the food banks. And last year we had, how much about? I think a thousand pounds. Yeah. And so, uh, I think we raised $7,000 seven dollars. So it's, it's a great event. We raise a lot of money. We ask people to come out. It's $35 a person. It's from 6 to 9. It's on February 2nd this year. <laughs> this year at the Colonia Country Club. And you can get tickets by either stopping at Emma's office at Advanced Family Chiropractor on Inman Avenue, or you can call me at 732-382-0273. Again, it is a great evening. You have a lot of fun, and we help the food banks. And like Peter said, the, the food banks, it's critical that we get this food to people. This year, over the holiday season, I and Peter, we dealt with a lot of different people, a lot of families. It was overwhelming how many families we had this year. So anything you could do, a piece of food, a can of food, anything you could do, attend our events, and let's just help those that are hungry. Thank you. I actually got to witness uh, Debbie in action with one of those families who was uh, suddenly homeless. and. And she worked with Assemblyman Craig Coughlin, all members of the town council, and uh, managed to put together enough money to keep them uh, in uh, an apartment, I should say a hotel room, on, through yesterday, at which point they're going to be found a, a more permanent shelter. But I see what Debbie does, and I see what Nancy does, and I see what the entire council and all the people in our town do. I mean, when you meet the family and talk to the family and see the kids, and when you realize they don't have coats, they don't have sneakers, they don't have, you know, maybe one meal a day, it really, I don't know about you, but boy, that really hit home uh, when we, we saw that right before Christmas with these kids who really had a rough, rough time. Uh, among the corporate contributors who uh, help every year um, with, uh, with Woodbridge Township and the uh, food bank uh, is Northfield Bank. Angie Circus is here with uh, Jamie Kruzman and Damian Kane, and I'll ask Angie if you say a few words on behalf of Northfield Bank. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, thank you to Peter Barcelona, thank you to John, thank you to Debbie and uh, Nancy and everyone here. Uh, Northfield, Northfield Bank is very proud to uh, support this cause um, annually. We have been doing though uh, for the past, um, I want to say, maybe five years, and um, we're very proud. It's uh, one of our slogans is united with the community, and this is the best way to be united with the community, to be able to contribute to such a great cause. Um, again, we're very proud, and we'll continue to do so. Thank you, and Happy New Year. Thank you, Andrew. We also have a lot of the uh, ground troops in the audience. They're the people who, once everything is donated and consolidated in the um, community center, then it's delivered out to the different food pantries and soup kitchens, and that's where the ground troops take over, and then they make sure that their parishioners, and mostly houses of worship, they make sure that their parishioners and their non-parishioners have access to the food. I know Jake's in the audience. I always make Jake speak. Um, he's not even a resident of Woodbridge, but he loves this town. Uh, he works with the Avenel Presbyterian Church. I always call him up. So, Jake, you want to come up and say a few words? And a proud veteran. I don't even know if this thing is working, is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, not that I want to get any brownie points today, but. I want to thank Mayor McCormick, Peter, all the merchants and businesses in the Woodbridge area and the banks who contribute to this worthwhile cause. I mean, this time of the year, it's kind of tough to get food, but uh, because of this, have a hard drive and, and taste of Colonia and all these other benefits, we really, really appreciate all the help that you give us. I know Mayor McCormick is in this. Every time there is a benefit, he is there. Peter is there. 
Wegmans and ShopRite, are they here today? No. no. Oh, sorry. But anyway, Wegmans and ShopRite always donate, and, and, and the merchants in, in Colony and Woodbridge, and thank you so much. We really appreciate all your help. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, Wegmans and ShopRite are two of our biggest uh, donors to the program. In fact, this food you see is all Wegmans. Um, it's always fun to have them up here and they talk smack to each other about who's going to collect more <laughs> and have a friendly little competition, but I think they both were afraid of each other this year, so neither one came. Uh, we do have uh, some other people in the audience, Pastor Samuel from Metro Park Assembly of God. Would you like to uh, say a few words, Pastor? Thanks, pal. I want to thank uh, the sponsors and uh, leaders of the town, and Mayor McCormick and Peter. Uh, so much for your support and uh, I want to thank you uh, community for your support uh, you make uh, this uh, possible uh, even in the past in the past month our food bank I'm sure uh, along with other food banks had a lot of de demand from families in need and uh, without you um, this is difficult but with your help we can do this and I want to thank uh, all the fellow food bank uh, volunteers uh, from different houses of worship here that also make this possible Thank you so much. Together, we uh, I think we are making a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. <clears throat> Pastor's also involved with the Tooling Around the Town project. He always has a team out at the end of April. He swings a mean hammer and <laughs> runs a good team. Uh, we have uh, Peggy Foley here from uh, St. James. Peggy, do you want to say anything? As the people that spoke before me said, thank you all very much. Um, our food pantry is one of the larger ones, and we feed, right now I have 500 families registered. We average about 150 families a month that we feed, and that doesn't count people that just come in. As they were mentioning, they either just became homeless, or they're there just as a one-time thing, or we have families that just have nowhere to go. It's all because of our donations and campaigns like Have a Heart and all of the contributors that are standing behind me and the ones that you don't see. So thank you all very much, and we'll keep working as long as you keep donating. Thank you, Peggy. Uh, John Haggerty, my communications director, just reminded me that Paul Sansone of Sansone's Route 1 Auto Mall will be donating $5,000 to the cause. Ah. He does every year. Uh, he was. Unable to make it here today, but every year he goes out to the St. James Food Pantry and we have a great time talking about uh, what that contribution means. I mean, Later this month. our whole goal is 32 and he's got five of it right there with one shot, so that's, that's terrific. So let's hear again for Sansone's Route 1 Auto Mall. And is there anybody else in the audience that wants to say anything? Nope, you're all shy like the little third graders, nobody wants to speak. <laughs> I usually have to call you up and embarrass you and give you the mic. So, Anyway, so it's $214 or 214 pounds of food. If you don't quite have 214 in, in dollars or food, we'll take whatever you have. Uh, if you want to give it, we'll get it. So we know all the places you can bring it. Community center, health center, um, town hall. How about the libraries? Uh, libraries, yeah. have barrels. libraries all have barrels too. Um, so there's plenty of places for you to get it to us, but if you want us to pick it up, you can call the mayor's office, call your council person, call Peter, as you heard from the health department, and we'll get it. So $214, 214 pounds. We want to make this the best drive ever. The way this winter's looking up, it's, it's been freezing. Uh, today's January 3rd, tomorrow's four to eight inches of snow. So by the time you watch this, uh, in fact, you might be home watching it, because uh, we'll probably have it on tomorrow, because you're not going to work because you're snowed in. Um, but we thought it was we thought it was oh, no, I have a robocall. I said four to eight. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's going to be bad. <laughs> so anyway, my, my point is the colder it gets, the more the need because people can't get out. And, and it's just let's just do all we can to to uh, get through this winter and make sure we get as much donated as possible, both in money so we can buy food for the people and also in direct non-perishable boxes and cans. So thank you all very much for watching. Thanks to these people behind me, whether they give money or whether they organize an event to raise money or whether they – uh, run around dropping off cans and boxes and everybody does the effort here in Woodbridge Township and and we're known for being a town that's very very um, uh, caring about the people who are in need so we, we love the fact that we have that reputation thanks to Peter the council and all the people who make that happen thanks for watching